Hi Leo, this is Tuesday. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. It is a brand new channel, so I'm still kind of working on how I'm gonna how I'm gonna you know do things moving forward. Um, I would love your input. I was thinking since I'm kind of developing it and shaping the way things are gonna go, um, you guys can leave me comments and and we can you know kind of develop it together. But the this read, I actually laid out the cards, you know, prior to turning on the camera, and which I like because I can sit with the energy and, you know, process the messages without, and, and then able to articulate them better to you, you know, without rush, rushing through multiple messages coming through. I know a lot of people prefer to have the card shuffled and the spread done on camera. So give me your thoughts on that, because um, I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go, you know, moving forward, but I am open to your thoughts. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is general, so it can't resonate for everyone. If it does resonate, please let me know in the comments below and um, hit like, share, subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, you know, be sure to check your other signs. And I might, I don't have all the signs up yet, but I will soon. So, um, you know, be sure to check back if, you're, if your other signs aren't up yet. All right, so let's get started. For um, the Romance Angels, what came out was Stay Optimistic. And that actually came out while shuffling. I put it back and it came out again. Um, and let's see, at the bottom of the deck, we have New Love. Um, so I feel like these are pretty, you know, important messages here. So let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Okay. And sometimes, you know, I, I, what I'm seeing here looks like a, a so maybe you're re reconciling with someone. Um, and when I see this, let your friends help you, I picked up on maybe a hesitation to do that. You know, sometimes when we've gone round and round with someone or if, you know, there's a reconciliation, your friends and family may have given up on this person. And so, which would, you know, we all do it. We don't want to talk bad about someone that we're hoping to be with, right? Because then they're going to have a bad taste in their mouth. This is a strong message saying, let your friends help you. So even though you may be hesitating to do that, this is encouraging you to do that. Um, also stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, whether it's with this person or with someone new. Um, okay, so let's get started. In your energy, we have the chariot. Okay, so the chariot is about forward movement. Um, in this deck, it looks like she's not real sure about that for forward movement or she's distracted. It looks like, you know, this does indicate forward movement but maybe not real smoothly okay and then we have the tower so something came crashing down <clears throat> something you know major happened so when i asked for clarification on that i got the knight of wands so it has to do with a uh, new you know something new and passionate that came in and then the wheel of fortune in reverse which is all about karma and cycles closing lessons being learned and that these together make me think that, you know, something started up again, but then got blocked. Something happened. Some kind of tower moment happened, okay? Let's dig into that one. So, again, fast motion. And then here we have the high priestess. So, this is either, you know, a Pisces. There might be a Pisces involved or simply you, you know, going within and, and your intuition um, is talking to you. So, you know, it, it always you always want to trust your intuition. Okay. In your person's energy, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. So, the Four of Pentacles is hanging on, not letting go of something. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is about stability, right? And the Four of Swords is taking a, you know, needing to take a rest. Not giving up, but maybe just done for right now taking a break from it so if you if to clarify this we got um, four of Pentacles we got the nine of Pentacles which is indicating not letting go of holding on to their independence this is this is your person's 
energy, okay? And with the Ten of Pentacles clarifying, we got Ten of Wands, so carrying a heavy load. And, you know, the Four of Wands, which is, you know, I'm seeing this as marriage and commitment and, you know, the wish fulfillment. It's looking to me like this person is burdened by either the past marriage stability or moving forward with one with marriage stability okay they're taking a break from it um then we got the devil card so devil card is you know can be about addictions can be about um feeling bound to something um and after that we got the ace of swords so ace of swords is truth clarity i don't know are they feeling you know trapped and bound by that um, and then secrets so s could be something unknown could be fear of the unknown um, the moon is it has so many meanings it's about emotions it's about what's hidden and not revealed it's about fear of the unknown so it's, to wrap sum this up it looks like your person is taking a break um, from you know the stability and not wanting to let go of their independence, okay? In the current energy or combined energy, we have six of cups, nine of cups, and three of pentacles. So what's on your mind and their mind is six of cups. So this is reminiscing. This nine of cups indicates, you know, drinking, happy times, going out, celebrating. I. A toasting so which you know makes me think of marriage um, but that they're thinking of they're reminiscing about happy times and or you both are and um, a partnership collaborating right cooperation this also could involve uh, children there could be somebody could be thinking about how this relationship would affect the children or how children could be affecting this relationship in the recent past, we've got the, oh, my cards are wet from the, from the um, essential oils. Okay, so we've got the three of swords. So either a third party, there's somebody else involved here. It doesn't mean it's a, a lover. It could be, uh, you know, a family member not wanting this to happen. But it, mostly what I'm seeing here is, you know, hurt, heartbreak. So recent past, we have something painful. Um you know defeat people hurt again and we have queen of cups <clears throat> so this is either a water sign or the energy of you know somebody loving nurturing maybe this is you and your energy and you got hurt okay um, and then we also have page of cups and justice so justice is Libra card it's also about fairness and it's regarding, you know, something that new that came in, um, communication. So it looks to me like this is about a reconciliation. <clears throat> and then, okay, so let's go to outcome. Actually, back to your person, some more clarifying cards. They're in their energy. We had confusion. I thought this was very interesting. We had confusion. We have the strength card which is Leo, which is you, and we also have the Emperor, which is Aries. So, confusion regarding, this is their, in their, in their energy, confusion regarding either an Aries and you, or confusion about being strong and, you know, stable and, and secure in this Emperor energy. They're confused about that, okay? In the outcome, we have Two of Cups, Whoa. And we have King of Swords. Again, um, lots of air energy. You know, we could be dealing with a, Li a Libra. But it does, this person does care about you. I mean, they're thinking about it. They, they, it's like they're torn. They, do they want that? They want a stable future. They want, you know, the, the success. They, it could be a soulmate or it could be karmic. Could be a karmic relationship. Maybe lessons need to be learned. Um, but you know, this is conflicting, conflicting information because they're they're deep in their thoughts about 
this love connection and this is future this is near future now when you look at what's upcoming it doesn't mean it's forever the end you know forever end result but this is in the near future so it's you know still thinking about this still thinking about it but I just don't see any action here um, also in the clarifying that we got the um, Queen of Wands that's Aries energy fire <clears throat> and we've got ten of swords so defeat and we have you know m movement and love it coming in you know fast motion and a new love beginning this you could have something coming up a new start with the Aries okay something passionate coming in is it with this person I'm not getting that I'm getting that this person is confused and indecisive and not that's not going to change anytime soon they're going to keep thinking about you. They're going to keep, keep thinking about it. But I don't see any action on their part. I see maybe something more successful coming in. And clarifying that, we got the uh, Ten of Wands. So, you know, there's a lot of burden here. It's This has been dragging out. It's been, you're, you're at, a, it's at a 10. So it's gone through all the phases. And it's just, you know, it's a heavy burden. But then we get, look at this, then we get a King of Pentacles. And I haven't seen this energy anywhere in this read. So this makes me think that, you know, it could be an air sign, but this makes me think somebody new stables coming in. Um, there, see that? New, passion, um, heartbreak from the Nine of Cups. Moving away. So it, you possibly were at a nine of cups with this person. It could be drinking, you know, too much drinking. But it looks like you're moving away from the heartbreak. And even though you were almost there, you wanted it and you were close to having, you know, full completion. Um, but it looks like you're moving. If you look at these cards, you're moving away from this. We, let, me, let me hold them up, you know, separately. Heavy burden. King of Pentacles new passion coming in and then heartbreak regarding you know the nine of cups which is love almost a ten of cups almost to you know full happiness moving away from that towards a let you know four of wands which is marriage something stable here again we have commitment so it could be commitment I think the message here is that you um, I mean, you, you, you have to do what you want. You have to go within, trust your intuition. But what the cards are saying is that lean on your friends, let your friends help you, stay optimistic. And I'm feeling like this person that you've been round and round with, um, it's not going to change. They're going to keep thinking about it. They have feelings for you, but they're hung up on either the past being that, you know, that state, having that stable, having it all. They're burdened by it, either the past or the future, or thinking about the future of having it all. And they're not wanting to let go of their independence right now. I don't see that changing. I think the message is um, lean on your friends, let them help you, let them help you heal. And um, when you can get through that healing, there's gonna be something new, beautiful, wonderful come in for you, okay? So that the ending is happy, but it, it looks like there's a lesson here that needs to be learned to let go is what it's looking like okay so let me know if you know there's more to the story that obviously that I didn't hit on I would love to hear about it in the comments and um, but just stay strong Leo you know stay in your Leo fire energy and you know something good is coming in for you okay all right Leo I hope you enjoyed it let me know and I will see you guys soon bye Leo